Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're taking a quick look at the Wove plugin from K Devices. Wove is an effect for making a wide range of textures out of your sounds, from familiar tremolo waves to glitchy stutters and everything in between. Wove shows us just how far traditional effects can be pushed. There are three main sections to Wove, the rate section, the waveform section, and the depth section, and we're gonna check them all out right now in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so this is Wove on the screen here, a very sleek looking plugin. It's definitely got the sort of Max for Live feel, but I wanna reiterate, this is not a Max for Live device. This is a regular plugin for any of your DAWs. So I've got it right now on the piano and the depth right here is the dry wet mix. So if I turn it all the way down, this is the original piano sound. Let me go ahead and solo it in the project. Just some chords there. And as I creep in the depth here, you can hear the volume shaping taking place. Now, I wanna point out that this is volume shaping automation here, and it's using this curve right here, which you have a lot of control over. You can see how as I move the wave here, the wave becomes a little bit more sharper in its curves, almost up to a square wave. We can adjust where it's happening, the peak in terms of time, and we can also warp it by making it larger or more narrow. And all of this is going to have a big effect on the choppiness of the sound. Double clicking any of these parameters, we'll set it back to its original position. And I also wanna point out this little button right here. Um, this is how it's gonna be by default. And I kind of like this approach more. I've said this before in another K Devices video. It just keeps you focused on listening to the sound as opposed to being like, well, I need to tweak the feedback parameter here. Uh, you just, you got these symbols I and mean, you might get to know what they mean, but it's better to know what they mean in terms of what it does to the sound than the actual name itself. I just think that's a really cool feature that K devices have put into a number of their plugins and I hope they continue to do it. Focus on the sound, not about the parameter name, right? We can change the timing of how often that volume volume automation happens right here. We've got normal, which is going to be your standard triplet or dotted formats. And we can also just click and drag up to get it quicker or down to get it slower. And here we have response and variation, and this is going to change the pattern essentially. So if I pull this up, it's actually going to start really quick and then slow down. Which is a really, really cool effect in my opinion. And if you go the other way, it's gonna start slow and then speed up over time. So I actually, actually we gotta bring it up a little bit quicker so we can hear the effect. So I'm sure you can imagine some creative ways to use this. And then this is gonna add variation to that speed. So you can hear how it's kind of fluttering fast and slow, then fast and slow. That's what that's doing. And if you wanna have even more control over this, let me go ahead and set it back to zero here. Let's go ahead and increase the volume. So we have control over kind of the volume here. We can go up to eight different steps. So that's with that, but if I pull it all the way up, we're getting sort of a more traditional standard flat response, but we can do this in kind of any creative way that we want. And we can go up to eight steps, as I said. You can also turn things stereo or kind of ping-pongy as well.
And another really cool thing is this variation knob right here. As you pull up on this, the chances that silence will be introduced to the tremolo effect will be greater. So you hear how it's kind of stuttering there a little bit more than just kind of a standard da 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 da. It's going da 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 da. Which again is just another parameter introduced here that can give really interesting and creative results. So let's check out a few of these presets before we wrap up this video. I'm just on the initial patch because I got in there and made that for this particular track. But if I do something like this. So that one's actually pretty cool too. I really like how it's grooving with this track as well. You can really see how just tweaking some of the accents over here really help the tremolo effect or the stutter effect groove better with whatever music you have going on. Anyway, that's just a quick look at the Wove plugin. It's available already on pluginboutique.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description if you wanna check it out. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.